Um, okay, this will be a couple of slides, uh, maybe just topic which probably today we didn't touch it too much, right? Um, data analytics in aquaculture. I mean, now we were complaining that uh, uh, data analytics for, let's say, this seeds and so on is not developed here, you know, it's even less, right? Uh, so, uh, and uh, so the presentation was really done by Joao, Pita Costa, and Matthias Richter from uh, my lab uh, as part of one European uh, project. So where um, we had, uh, so the roughly the setting of the project was we had three fisheries, one in Israel, one in Cyprus, and one in Greece. Yeah? And as, uh, as much as we uh, explored, all the fisheries are pretty much of the same kind. Yeah? Everything is done by feeling. Yeah? Uh, sharp eye, this is the key, key sensor for, uh, for the feedback, what's going on. Yeah? And uh, so, uh, <clears throat> I mean, for, for us, this was new domain, uh, fish, right? Fish, fish is something which you eat, but you, uh, we know that it's, uh, there, there's some farming, there are some wild fish, wild fish is a little, is a little bit more expensive, uh, farms a little bit less, uh, but I didn't know much more. So apparently, uh, fish were farmed already back in Roman times. So this is, uh, this is something what we uh, learned. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, but nowadays uh, things are changing. And uh, the, at the present stage, apparently the, the fish which is uh, farmed uh, goes, uh, farmed or probably also wild fish now, I'm not sure, it goes in the range of 20 kilo per capita for the whole world population. So this is roughly the, the amount of fish uh, which is uh, put on the market. So this uh, is... Per week? Per year, yeah. per year. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, there are people which don't eat fish, right? Uh, some people which uh, do. Uh, so this is some number which, but maybe it's big, maybe not. You know, uh, again, um, in terms of the statistics, if you look at check how much beer they have per capita versus somebody else. Uh, so it's a number of this kind. Uh, uh, <laughs> Europeans have big numbers on that side. Uh, and um, uh, so uh, here are a couple of uh, numbers which uh, uh, we learned from this community. Yeah. At the moment roughly we have 50% uh, uh, of wild, wild fish, uh, 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 so seafood, uh, let's call it uh, seafood. Yeah. Uh, uh, 50% uh, which is out there on the market is uh, wild uh, seafood, so caught from the seas, and 50% is farmed. Uh, apparently by 2030, so let's say in like 20, 13 years, uh, this will change towards over 60, let's say two thirds on the farmed side and uh, only let's say one third, or towards one third on the uh, uh, wild side. Uh, um, and uh, so here, this is some kind of extrapolation, roughly, uh, uh, I think. Uh, uh, so here, you, so in the past, everything was caught, right? It was, uh, now, now uh, this is significant, significant part. And different parts of the world, obviously, uh, are different uh, in this sense. Uh, uh, so in this study, which uh, we had, so these were three fisheries. We uh, we studied sea bream and uh, sea bass, so two popular fish, which is often farmed, at least in Medi Mediterranean. Uh, uh, I guess because they're easy to prepare and they don't have much bones. I mean, this is my understanding why. Uh, uh, at least that's why I'm eating them. <laughs> uh, and uh, so uh, every fishery not just these three, but also the ones which we uh, talked to afterwards, somehow they, they, they have the same, the same pattern. So uh, on the left side, uh, they have this baby fish, which are put into the uh, this pretty much cage or some kind of environment. Sometimes it's a little bit more open, sometimes it's more like a cage. Uh, um, uh, but this baby fish is produced by some, it's outsourced to some other companies, so this baby fish is then put in this uh, cage and then they go through iterations of sampling, 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 and then at some point when they reach uh, optimal commercial value, then they just put them out and sell. So this is pretty much the pattern. Now, uh, uh, now the trouble is really on the sampling side. 
Eh? Because they, uh, so the whole 70% of all cost which uh, fishing, uh, in fish farming, um, uh, uh, which fish farming has is uh, uh, food, 70%. So 70%. So fish farmers, they want to optimize the cost of food, really. So their optimal thing would be uh, put fish in the water, wait and take them out and get money. Uh, but of course, they need to feed them, otherwise they don't grow. Um, so they, and now they have this skilled uh, uh, feeling uh, how to optimize this, uh, uh, what is still acceptable, so for fish to grow, <coughs> but not to spend too, uh, too much uh, 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 resources for uh, uh, for food, right? Um, and um, so there are a couple of uh, uh, so one issue is sampling. So the, the, uh, and there are a couple of other dimensions uh, like uh, temperature of water, oxygen, um, how big uh, is fish in the water. So there are a couple of parameters. Uh, it's maybe three, four dimensional space which they're exploring. They, they, they won't call these dimensions, but uh, some kind of indicators, right? Uh, and uh, and whenever they uh, sample, this means they take set of fish out. So this fish, uh, and then they weight them. Okay. Um, if they want to get uh, the indicator of weight, they put them briefly on a, some kind of scale, and they average this set of fish, and then they put them out. So this fish, which was taken out, they don't grow for another week because it's traumatic experience, so they try to optimize this. There's no IoT, or it seems that it's coming, but there's no IoT which would be below water, which would measure this on a continuous basis. At least addition, it was not, I, I, I'm not sure, maybe today uh, uh, there's some technology for this, but let's say a few years ago, two, three years ago, certainly it was not there. Uh, uh, and uh, eventually, uh, when uh, things, uh, when fish, so if there's not enough fish, of course, fish die. There's something like 10% of fish, roughly, can be more or less uh, die in these cages. Eh? And they want, obviously, this is not good. Uh, so they, they have some kind of feeling how this uh, would, uh, uh, how to optimize price and uh, uh, minimize price and optimize the weight. Eh? So. Uh, I want to go, so, uh, okay, so these are the variables they have, um, sampling data, uh, uh, I will maybe just, uh, uh, so one, one, one feature which uh, we as data scientists observe with all the fisheries which we work with, they're so secretive about this data and all, all the data is the same pretty much, uh, but they're so secretive because they, they don't want uh, the the other fishery to know uh, what's happening in their fishery. I mean, but they all have the same cycle. I mean, fish is fish. They grow pretty much the same uh, um, species and so on. Uh, and uh, the ultimate uh, tool they have, if not paper, right, uh, is Excel. Yeah. Excel and comma separated file. It was impossible to go beyond this and extremely unclean data. So Excel files with extra notes, yeah, with extra notes. Uh, 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 and these are big fisheries, so these are not small, right? So, uh, uh, so this was pretty much the cycle of, of uh, 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 data we, uh, uh, we had. So, well, data inputs, then syntactic cleaning, so that number looked like number, date looked like date, and so on. Uh, semantic cleaning, there was lots of mistakes, so that the weight is not like times thousand or and so on, so this nonsense and stuff. Um, uh, method and then they had some kind of interactive UI which was pretty much either Excel or some kind of web. So this is the most you can actually return them. Yeah? So there's no command line Unix utilities which would work there, right? Uh, uh, and uh, then basically at the end they, they're interested really just on, on a prediction. So if we put so much food, how much they will grow, and uh, if you take the whole thing as an optimization problem, then uh, it would optimize the food uh, across the uh, uh, this time. So, uh, so there are a couple of uh, yeah, indicators which they uh, uh, 
uh, monitor this, this economical, biological, but I, I will skip these uh, indicators. At the end, it's really uh, this graph maybe is relevant to see. So this is already smoothed data. So in the next slide, you will see uh, the actual data is, looks like this. But our guy somehow smoothed this so that it has some shape and uh, meaning. Uh, so uh, uh, one side is uh, temperature. So this is this is temperature, and this is I think uh, uh, weight. Uh, and uh, uh, there are a couple of obvious dependencies, and these are this is this hidden skill which they don't want to tell each other uh, is. Uh, uh, so if the if the water is cold, then fish obviously needs more food. Yeah, this is one dependency. So this is what you see on the on the left side. Uh, if the water is warm, uh, then it's also then it's less food uh, food needed apparently. And if uh, fish is grown up, uh, then the, there's some some kind of ceiling where there's no point in uh, adding uh, more food because they simply don't grow independent of the amount of food you're putting in. So the, as much as we summarized uh, discussions with these uh, farmers, these are three important dependencies which also ref are reflected in this 3D graph. Right? Uh, and so, okay, these are three fisheries and after smoothing, so this is real data on the upper line below uh, is uh, smoothed and Roughly the patterns would be similar, except on the, the left seems like uh, one peak, which I, I cannot explain at the moment. So, uh, so that's it. Um, and uh, at the end, uh, we uh, okay. So they had some some. So I think regression is already something which is uh, relatively complicated for them. Uh, uh, but we use some kind of form of regression plus I think some derived attributes. But not very complicated, and this already improved. And this was, this is what they had in their best case, and this is what we produced. Again, I won't go too much into detail, but these small differences matter uh, for them. Uh, in the same way as we discussed before, this few percent um, on on that scale as uh, this farm, big farms operate. Uh, apparently, this uh, this matters. But this was without uh, without too much effort, uh, I would say, in terms of uh, data analytics. Uh, it was way more effort went into communication and cleaning and discussions and convincing them that actually this data won't be transferred to sister fishery and, uh, and so on. Okay, that's it. This is like uh, one, one experience uh, from one okay, EU-funded project. Uh, uh, where I would say the, 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 the easiest problem was really uh, uh, data science, uh, everything else was way more, uh, social engineering was more complicated. Well, thanks for that.